Are you looking to learn about the AWS Cloud Practitioner Certification? If so, this video is for you. Hi, my name is Michael Gibbs and I'm the founder and CEO of Go Cloud Architects, and we're an organization dedicated towards building high performance cloud computing careers. I've been working in tech now for over 25 years, and I've been coaching or mentoring others to get their first tech job or get promoted in tech for well over two decades. And today we're gonna to talk about the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam, and is it worth it? The way we're gonna to present today's information is we're gonna talk about what is the purpose of a certification, then we'll talk about certifications that not only build your portfolio, they escalate your career, and then from there we're gonna talk about the Cloud Practitioner certification, should you do it, and then if you should not, we're gonna give you recommended steps on what to do instead to make sure you have the best cloud architect, solution architect, or cloud computing career. Let's talk about certifications and what are they? So at Go Cloud Architects, we actually love certifications, though people would assume we do not. We love certifications because a certification can do the following. It can teach you about a vendor services, such as Cisco, Microsoft, AWS, and it can make up for gaps on your resume, which is really great, especially when you have gaps in experience. And when you have a collection of the right certifications, not the wrong ones, it can help you bring broad in for an interview. So that's great. We love certifications because it helps you get an interview. And without an interview, you don't get the job. Now let's talk about what certifications will not do. They will not get you hired. See, they will get you the interview, but when you get on the interview, it's gonna be left to your technical competency, your attitude, your emotional intelligence, your communication skills, and your experience. So while we love the certifications to help you get that interview, realize they will not get you hired. They are just not enough. So helpful in boosting your resume to get the interview, but not enough to get hired, with a few exceptions. And we're gonna tell you what those exceptions are. Now, there are certain certifications that are so impressive on your resume that they will get you hired just by having them. One such example is the Cisco Certified Internet Expert, something which was a two-day exam that I took 20 plus years ago. And in order to pass the exam, what you had to do is you had to design a system based upon Cisco's requirements, and they knew it wouldn't work. So not only did you have to design the system that was impossible to work, then you had to fix it given the requirements and they would break it and you'd have to fix it. Wow, we all got hired. Why? Because we had to be an expert to even do it. This is different than these other certifications. A lot of these certifications out there are new. And the way they work now is basically they ask you the name of a service and how to configure it. And there's lots of practice tests and lots of exam dumps and lots of courses which can teach you exactly how to pass these exams without knowing anything. So now let's talk about certifications for the cloud and how to build that really great cloud certification portfolio. I'm gonna tell you right now, don't do the AWS Cloud Practitioner. In our perspective, in our experience, the AWS Cloud Practitioner is simply a huge waste of your time. Why? Unless you have a large amount of experience, it's gonna be near impossible to actually get hired with the Cloud Practitioner certification. And okay, we get it, it's an intro level certification, but you know what, so is the AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate. They're almost the same level of difficulty and they're almost equally just as basic. And the reality is it's pretty hard to get hired with the AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate alone unless you've got a lot of experience, but you're one step closer to getting to your goals. See, the average cloud architect earns $600 a day. And if it takes you two months to do the cloud practitioner, and it's gonna take you two months if you do it honestly, because AWS makes these exams hard. It's gonna cost you $12,000 per month for at least two months to pass this exam, which is a cost to you of $24,000. Now we're talking in terms of opportunity costs, meaning what you could be earning while you are working versus what you're doing while you're studying. So we gotta get you through the study process as fast as possible so we can get you hired. So skip the cloud practitioner, go straight to the AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate. Similar level of difficulty, take you about the same two months, and that's kind of your intro, intro, intro to the AWS Cloud. So that's your first step. Now, we're gonna take you to the next phase. So as soon as you finish the AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate, next steps. If you wanna be a Solution Architect or Cloud Architect, your next step is the AWS Certified Solution Architect Professional, straight from the Associate to the Professional. Why? The AWS Certified Solution Architect Professional is pretty much the bare minimum level of knowledge to start working as a cloud architect, so go for it. Now, associate, professional, now you're getting into the place where you're starting to have some cloud skills. Now, do not, 
do sysop and do not to be DevOps and unless you want to do the following. If you want to be the maintenance person of these systems, which is sysops, study sysop, but then don't study architecture because they're different skills. If you want to do DevOps, you know, automating software release cycles, improving the quality, and you're a software developer, wonderful, study DevOps, but as a DevOps engineer, remember, an architect is a system designer, a cloud engineer is the person that builds the things the architect designs, the sysops people maintain the things that the cloud engineers build, and the DevOps people are working on the software stuff. All wonderful careers, but separate. So we want to make sure you get the right one. So sysops, for example, and architecture are about as related to the physician that's working in the hospital taking care of the patients, and the person who works in the hospital that's making the meals to serve the physicians in the cafeteria. Both very important but different careers. And they're so different that it's not gonna really help the person working in the cafeteria that says, I wanna be a doctor. Likewise, if the doctor wants to be a chef in the cafeteria, just being a doctor is not gonna help him be a chef. Both are valid, both are important, but it's a matter of just studying for the career you want. Now, how do we improve these things? So you've done the AWS Certified Solution Associate and a professional. Now, how are we gonna round out your certification portfolio to really make you shine? Here's gonna be our recommendations. Figure out first which career you want. And if, and we're only talking certifications, we're not talking about the complete training you need, but only certifications here. If you want to be a cloud architect, here's what's going to make it look good. The Certified Solution Architect Professional, maybe a TOGAF, which is an architecture certification, perhaps a little bit of networking things like a CCNA or a Linux certification. Big picture. Why this big picture? The cloud is nothing, nothing, nothing more than a virtualized network in a data center. So if you understand the network in the data center, you understand the cloud. So if you want to be a generic cloud architect, that's generally our recommendation for certifications. Now we've got a lot of training outside that we recommend. Certification is maybe 10% of the piece, but you know, that's your certification portfolio. Now let's say for example, you want to be a cloud infrastructure architect like me, someone that focuses on the network and the infrastructure. Well, totally different certification portfolio. We're still talking about the certified solution architect professional as a base cloud certification. Now we need an industry threat, something that's going to show networking. So here, you know, the Cisco certified network professional would be good. The Cisco certified internet expert like me is obviously the best, but because now you've got a cloud networking perspective. No, I did not say the AWS advanced networking. I said Cisco certified network professional or the Juniper equivalent of that, the Juniper networks equivalent of that. And I said the AWS certified solution architect professional, why? The AWS Advanced Networking, and it's a good course, is kind of like an intro to networking. It is really basic. It's like sub-level of a CCNA. So if you're going to be a cloud architect focusing on infrastructure, you need to know networking. And you're going to get that at the CCNP level. So that's typically what we're talking about, like a CCNP level net routing and switching person along with a certified solution architect professional. Great resume for a cloud infrastructure architect. Now. Let's say you're a cloud architect that likes security. I had more foray, my foray into security for years and I loved it. Now, let's see what an architecture certification package would look like. AWS Certified Solution Architect Professional? Yes, because you know that's your bare minimum. And a security certification. Now, for the architect types, we like the CISSP. Why? It's a design certification, just like architects do with design. Designing the policy, planning it, so the CISSP is a beautiful certification combined with the Certified Solution Architect Professional if you want to be a cloud security person. But you might want deeper. You might want to be on the hacking side and the prevention of the hacking side. So the CEH is good, the Certified Ethical Hacker, but only with the practical exam. See, if it's just a paper certification, um, like some of these other things, it doesn't hold the value. But when you do that CEH practical exam, it's like a Cisco certified internet expert. You've had to prove to experts that you know what to do. And when you do that, it raises your value. So that's typically what we're looking for. Now, people ask us, I'm from a database background. Is there a place for me on the cloud? Yes, absolutely. So database people, you know, certified solution architect professional, maybe a deep Oracle, professional over certification, now you've got that database environment or whatever it is. See, what we're trying to do to really make you look good is we're taking these deep, 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 extremely challenging industry sites, the things that basically know how you know how it all works, and then we're marrying that with these cloud search, which teaches you the services on the cloud. And together, you're building an export level portfolio, which is gonna help you for the rest of your career. So we're not just talking about how to get your first job here, we're talking about you know, career progression and acceleration all at the same time. So this will help you get hired, but it'll help your career progress as well. So now that we're talking about certifications and how to get them, let's make sure we do them the right way. You have to be technically competent. I'm gonna say this again, if you are not technically competent, you can't be hired. 
So everybody that uses an exam dump or some kind of way where they've gotten practice questions and answers that are like the real thing, they're not hireable because right? they don't have the competency. So it doesn't matter if you're certified. Certification gets you the interview, but you got to be able to win on the interview. So skip any kind of exam dumps. Now, I'll tell you what we did. We love high quality textbooks, the kind that a manufacturer would make, like Cisco Pressbook for Cisco. Cybex makes a beautiful book for the AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate in Advanced Networking and like Advanced Security. These books are made by the vendor or, or authorized by the vendor and they are good and they are solid. So we strongly recommend you get one of them and use that through your training program. And in fact, we feel so strongly about the book thing that we've completely written an AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate eBook and made a course and it's completely free on the link below. Why did we do this? We surveyed all the courses we saw out there and we couldn't find one that would prepare you for their job. So we felt bad about it. So we have free AWS Certified Solution Architect Associate and free AWS Certified Solution Architect Professional Training and AWS Advanced Networking Training. I'll leave the links to all below so you can get this. And the money that you save by not buying training, dedicated to, the book, to a book by one of the major vendors, a Cisco Press book, a Red Hat book. Something from the security people that make the CISSP. You know, get one of these deep books and read that book with the money you saved from not buying a training program by using R free. You combine those two, now you're getting training because we want you to be trained. We want you to have a great cloud computing career. I will tell you this. I've been an architect for 25 years and I've been working on clouds since before they called it the cloud. The first cloud was Frame Relay. The next one was HPM. The third one was a VPLS. And then we were building the data center and clouds and clouds and clouds. We built clouds for decades. We just didn't call them that at the time. And I will tell you that cloud is a great space to be. I will tell you it is a wonderful career and we want to get you there as fast as possible and help you up the best career. So we love the book model and the books will really help you. I come from a medical world. I used to practice internal medicine as a nurse practitioner before I went into tech. And I read a lot of books. When I did my CCIE program, I read 75,000 pages of materials just for that exam alone. So books are great. And we've given you the free training, marry the free training with books and watch your career progress. Let's talk about some fun things that we can do to help you get your first cloud architect job. On Mondays and Thursdays, we have a completely free how to get your first cloud architect job webinar. We will tell you everything you need to know, how to interview, the things to do in an interview, what hiring managers want. It's completely free. We do it on Mondays and Thursdays. The link is in the description below. Now on Tuesdays, we have a completely fun cloud architect career challenge. We invite people from all over the world and just like being an architect, they will interview an executive and an interview a technical team. And that's what they, we do on this free webinar every Tuesday. People come from around the world. They will interview me and I will give an environment of a sample case study for my 25 year architecture career. I will present the material. The students will ask me questions. I will answer their questions and then everybody will design that system on two clouds. By the end of this thing, you will know, are you ready to be hired or do you need training? And if so, you'll know exactly what you need to do. And we do this completely free every Tuesday. Now, on most Wednesdays, we do a free YouTube live where we basically go on YouTube and you can ask us any questions about how to build your cloud computing career and we answer them real time completely free. Again, um, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of when we do these, but we do them most Wednesdays. Thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today. You know, we love the cloud. We love working with the cloud architect community and we're honored and privileged to be able to communicate with you and share our knowledge and experience several times per week on YouTube. Thank you so much for watching this video and we look forward to seeing you in another video very soon.